video presents to you example 5 of axial force, shear force and bending moment diagrams. As you can see over here we have a two dimensional structure. We have, we have a pin on the left hand side, a roller on the right hand side. We have a UDL extending from the pin and all the way out to the right hand side. And we have, an end, we have a clockwise moment on the left hand side, 20 kilonewton meters. Okay, so the first thing we do is uh, we have to know how many unknown reaction forces we have. So because this is a pin, we have two unknown reaction forces, one pointing up and one pointing horizontally. And we have a roller on this side, so we only have one vertical reaction force. Okay, so what? how do we work out these reaction forces? Through uh, equilibrium. Okay, so the first thing we do is sum of forces in the horizontal direction. So since HA over here is the only horizontal force, therefore it equals to zero kilonewtons. And from this, the fact that this reaction force is zero kilonewtons, we can immediately deduce that the final axial force diagram will just be zero kilonewtons. Um, the next thing we do is the sum of forces in the y direction. So we have over here VA plus VB minus 2 times 6. So why is it minus 2 times 6? First of all, we have VA and VB which are positive. And then minus 2 times 6 because we have this UDL. Okay, it's pointing downwards, so it's a minus, and it spans over 6 meters. We have to convert the UDL into a point load. So since we can't add point loads with UDLs, we have to convert this into kilonewtons. So we multiply the UDL by its span. So rearranging, we get VA plus VB to equal 12 kilonewtons. Um, now that we have two unknowns here, we need to apply.